Alright, welcome back here everybody. And continuing where we left off in the last lesson, we're now ready to go ahead and start modeling the inside portion of the mouth here. Okay, so what I want to go ahead and do is just turn off our decimated mesh. Go ahead and turn off X right here. And I'm going to take a look at our mouth just to make sure that our vertices are going to be lined up properly here. Okay, so this is close to being where it should be. Okay, so that all looks fine. So let's go ahead and just mirror this over here. First, we're going to go ahead and mirror it in the uh, negative X direction. Turning off merge with the original. Okay. Go ahead and hit OK on that. We'll go ahead and mirror that over. And you can see that that go ahead, um, creates a copy for us. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and select that edge, the border edge here. Deselect what we don't want merged. Okay. I'm going to hold down control, right click, and we're going to say two vertices. So this grabs the selection that we have and merges, um, converts it to the vertices. And then we'll go ahead and merge those verts and making sure that nothing here is um, getting selected that we don't want selected here. And we definitely are going to have to adjust some of these verts here. It looks like if I can just jump back a step here, we actually have to adjust some of these tail verts here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and select the edge there. Select that edge. We'll just go ahead and pull them up. Okay, and push it back. I think that's going to be okay. That actually might be up too high. Okay, so now we can go ahead and mirror that back over. Now it's just a a minor issue that I didn't see. Well, actually, still looks like it might be a little bit low. Right, that's actually too many faces. So you can see where sometimes you need to go ahead and do some adjustment. And just seeing where this is going to end up here. So you can just delete all those extra faces off. It looks like. Okay, that should be that should be fine, hopefully. So let's go ahead and just mirror this back over. Oops. And we're going to mirror it in the negative x direction, obviously. Okay. Take a look at our tail again here. And we're definitely going to have to um, adjust this a little bit here because you can see the, the massive gap that's in between here. So we'll go ahead and select the edge. Okay, we'll go ahead and just scale that over so that it basically connects. Go ahead and convert it to vertices and then merge them. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here for what is the front of the model. Just making sure that all these vertices are going to be merged and that looks fine. Actually, we don't want to have that one merged in the front here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go back in the edge selection mode here. And we will deselect the inside portion of the mouth because we don't want to merge any of these vertices um, that we don't want. So I'll hold down control, right click two vertices, go ahead and merge those. And I actually am going to deselect these two so that we can merge them. And then I'll just merge them um, by themselves here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and merge those. And now we have the the model merged and we'll just have to remerge the tail here if we can take a look there just scale them together convert it to vertices 
go ahead and merge that. So now we have a completely merged model. Okay, we're also going to take the one eye here, freeze the transformations in the center of the pivot here, hit Control D to duplicate it, hit Insert so that we can get to the pivot of it, use V to snap it to the middle portion of the model, change the scale in negative X, and then that way we have the actual eye for the character in both eyes. Just make sure that we go ahead and turn off our uh, two-sided lighting because then you can see that the faces and the normals for that piece of geometry are reversed. We can just simply go ahead and reverse that back. Okay. And let's go ahead and create the inside um, portion of the mouth here. And it looks like I just need to go ahead and move these vertices up a little bit since I'm doing those two. Go ahead and do the same thing here on this side. Just move them up a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the edge loop for the mouth. And we just need to grab the border edge there. Okay. Go ahead and hit extrude. And we're just simply going to extrude this in. Okay. And we're going to scale it so that it's all going to be even. Okay. We'll just move it back here. A little bit scale it in a little bit here and just move it back to where I think it's gonna work okay we'll start off here with one edge loop and we'll select one edge double click to select the entire top portion of that edge go ahead and move one portion of it up okay we'll go ahead and grab one of the bottom edges for that which is right there if we can go ahead and select that and we just need to select the other one here and it just takes a little bit of effort to go ahead and grab that okay we'll just go ahead and move that down just trying to make sure that it's not um, pinching through our our mesh so we'll go ahead and grab the back one here actually we're just going to select one do the same thing and select the other portion of it. We'll just go ahead and move this up. Okay. Select the bottom portion of it here. Go ahead and move that down. Just making sure that it's not going to impinge through the model here. And you can see where this is coming through at least a little bit. So we'll just have to move this up a little bit there. Okay, we can also go ahead and add an edge loop here so that it maintains its form. And basically so that these lips will stay shut as we want them. Okay. We can go ahead now and basically close off this portion of the model. So we'll just select the entire border edge here. Okay, we'll come in here and say fill hole. And now we just need to go ahead and basically um, draw out some of our extra geometry here. Okay, so we just take our split polygon tool and basically just split all this and I'm trying to at least make this as quadded as possible because in the end it's going to make it much easier for us to go ahead and UV map so it just takes a little bit of time to go ahead and try and get all this in here properly We can simply just go ahead and do that. I'm not going to worry about, you know, deleting one side and remirroring it. It's just easier to go ahead and just draw out the, uh, the split using the split polygon tool here and just simply, you know, modify your geometry as needed. It's just going to be easier instead of just continually remirroring and mirroring and mirroring try and save ourselves some time here and since this is just 
you know, basically a simple process. We sort of don't really have to worry too much about it. Okay. So now that we have that drawn in, you can see where the, the shape is, is pretty decent. Okay. So if you want, you can always come in here and add another little bit of geometry. Go ahead and uh, grab the edge loops. Adjust it a little bit more. If you want. And I'm just trying to basically adjust it as I need so that I can at least have some clean geometry there and now you can see where we have a very decent looking cartoon character okay um, it, it, you'll notice that I didn't necessarily add any teeth um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that once we start the texturing process because I want to make sure that I have the, the mouth and, and everything else textured properly before I go ahead and add the teeth simply because I want to make sure that everything is going to tie together. That and I'm not exactly sure of what kind of teeth I want to go ahead and add. I don't know if I want to add some spiky teeth or if I want to add some um, like regular geometric teeth, you know, which you would see in humans. So um, for the most part, we're pretty much done here. And then in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and begin the process of texturing our model. So um, come on back, and we'll begin that second part.